Howdy folks, I'm Circuitous Circinus, curiously circumnavigating cryptic circuses. I'm Amber. And here are more cryptic circuses for us to circumnavigate. We're a compass. I mean, I, I think that uh, circuses is a, is a little odd of a choice for us to be navigating, but okay, we'll do it. Amber. Let's get started. All right, folks, and our first letter is titled, Am I a Jerk for Destroying the Reputation of My Sister's Boyfriend? And this one is creepy, just to warn you folks. All right, folks, and our first letter is titled, Am I a Jerk for Destroying the Reputation of My Sister's Boyfriend? My husband, a 30-year-old male, and I, a 29-year-old female, just had our first little one, a 7-week-old female. We have been seeing a fantastic doctor, but unfortunately, she is currently out of town, and we needed to get our baby's 6-week vaccination done. My sister, a 27-year-old female, has a child of her own, a 4-year-old male, and so I asked if she had a recommendation for a doctor. She recommended me to a friend of hers, a 31-year-old male, saying that she has never seen him as her son's doctor, but he is a great guy, and I will call him Tony. I made an appointment with Tony, and it was the day that my husband couldn't attend with me. During the appointment, Tony was checking over our little girl, generally asking if I was breastfeeding. When I answered in the affirmative, Tony kind of mumbled, lucky girl. I was shocked, but I didn't know what to do, so I didn't say anything in the moment. He then asked to observe a feed to make sure that she was latching correctly, but I told him no, and he said, pity. Once I left the appointment, I felt so horrible. I should have said something, but I was all out of sorts. All I could do was get out of there as quickly as possible. When I got home, I spoke to my husband about the situation, and he helped me put in a report with the clinic's management. That weekend, my husband and I took the baby to my parents, a 57-year-old female and a 60-year-old male, for a family lunch. My sister was there with Tony as her date. I had no idea that they were together, and she was using the barbecue to introduce him to the family. I couldn't stay. I was so uncomfortable that I asked my husband to take me home as soon as I saw him. My mom was upset about us leaving, so my husband made up an excuse about him not feeling well. She clearly didn't buy it, because she came over that evening and wanted to have a chat. It all kind of came bursting out of me, and my mom was furious. She asked if she could tell my dad, which I didn't have a problem with. Later, my sister phoned me to tell me that I have caused a massive problem in her life. Apparently, my parents have banned Tony from their house and have told her that she is welcome to pursue the relationship, but they want absolutely nothing to do with him or her while she is with him. They told her that she is lucky that they aren't reporting him as a predator. She told me that her and Tony are quite serious and talking about marriage, which is why she wanted us to meet him. She said that I've taken a joke out of context and ruined her shot at happiness. She apparently also heard about the fact that I reported him to management, and she is saying that I am slandering the man that she loves and destroying the possibility of our dad walking her down the aisle. I am now wondering if I did something and maybe just misunderstood a joke, because I can't see my sister standing up for someone who could do something like that. I'm sorry that she feels so backed into a corner, and I'm wondering if maybe I should have given him a chance to explain. Alright folks, what do you think? No, absolutely not the jerk. OP, you behaved impeccably throughout this whole thing. What this man did was highly inappropriate in a professional setting. Here you have someone in a position of power who is trying to use that to look at your body naked. Mm -hmm. And that is not okay. And you know, reporting him, that was great. And I'm really glad your husband's been on your side through all of this. He acted really well. I'm really glad your parents on, are on your side. They're acting really well. The only people who aren't acting well in this are Tony the Creep and your sister who's backing him up. Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes people get blinded by love. And I'm sure the variation of the story that Tony told her is a lot different from what OP told uh, has telling people, right? Tony is likely making it sound much less, uh, you know, crude than what it was at the appointment. And this goes to show that you shouldn't be a creep, you know? I mean, I think that's really what the moral lesson here is. Like, if Tony had just been a decent human being and been like oh yeah you know blah 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 and actually did the appointment professionally and appropriately then when it came time for the cookout there wouldn't have been a problem at all now what kind of boggles my mind is surely op's sister told o uh, that tony that 
her sister was coming to an appointment. I don't really know how he couldn't have put the, the dots together here, right? I mean, it could be that because she just recommended him, so she might not have known that Opie actually set up an appointment, mm -hmm. and they may not look very similar, or they may look eerily similar, and he's like, oh, she's really hot. Looks like my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So I think that the sister should be taking this far more seriously because suppose that his joke wasn't a joke like she thinks right mm -hmm. then that means that he is hitting on you know women patients to a point where people are getting uncomfortable and this is well you shouldn't be if you're a doctor you shouldn't be hitting on your patients anyways right mm -hmm. and that's just not a good situation and i think that she really needs to examine her priorities here well and also like what does this say for their relationship like it does not seem like fidelity is a top priority for him if mm -hmm. this is how he's behaving. Yeah. So, like, she needs to be taking this way more seriously. One, because it's harassment and it is absolutely uncalled for. But two, also just for her own, like, sake of her relationship, she probably wants to be married to someone who will be faithful and, mm -hmm. you know, all that stuff. Yeah. But let me know what you folks think. So, anyhow, take care and good luck. And Banff1701 says, not the jerk. You are not destroying your sister's chance at happiness. Tony is doing that all on his own. He is the one who made an inappropriate sexual comment to his girlfriend's sister while she was a patient. And that is just never a joke. And professionals have classes to tell them what's appropriate behavior. And that ain't it. Also, do not ever regret reporting him. If he did this to you, his girlfriend's sister... You know that he has done it to other women, and many of them were probably not as brave as you to report him. What you are doing is protecting not only them, but future women who might be victims of his jokes. And with people like him, they often don't just stop with inappropriate comments, but their behavior escalates until stopped. So think of the women that you may have saved in the future. And good for your parents for standing up for you. Yeah, well, and that's a very important too, and like... When people are being told to do things by a medical professional, even if it doesn't feel comfortable, they can feel pressured because here's a medical professional. Yeah, yeah. And so it is really gross abuse of power. And it's awesome that OP reported him because he should be taken to cast. He should not be in a position to hurt other people. Yeah. And I mean, a lot of times people will just blindly take orders from uh, people who are in authority. Right. And that's can be very problematic. And, and that's not a like a flaw in the people who take orders from uh you know authority figures because yeah. it tends to be that we're wired to do that right i mean not everyone is going to like think about what an authority figure is telling them and that's why people who are in authority positions have a lot of responsibility to do the right thing and no salad 8766 says i would turn around and report him again he shouldn't be treating his girlfriend's niece slash sister in any professional capacity he knew what the relationship was there while op didn't he should have turned her away as a patient not the jerk and op replies to be honest i hadn't thought of that but that is a good point i would not have seen him if i knew that he was dating my sister and i mean i think that is a good point but like amber was saying maybe the sister wasn't aware of that either and maybe he didn't know either and i mean i'm sure if he did know why would he have hit on op in that particular instance right that seems like just asking for trouble at home <laughs> and op replies thank you for your comment i feel quite validated reading that so many people also feel that it was totally inappropriate i knew in my gut it felt really icky but I also thought that maybe I was overthrowing it or not considering the intention correctly. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Am I a jerk for going no contact with my family because my brother mocked my profession? I'm a 27-year-old male, and I have a very strained relationship with my family, especially with my father and brother, mostly because they think that my job is too girly. I'm a makeup artist. Before anyone asks, no, I'm not gay, I'm not trans, I just like the art of makeup and have always drawn, been drawn towards it. Ever since I was a teenager, I wanted to be a makeup artist or do something along that line. My father and brother always mocked me for it. Aside from the homophobic comments, they would tease me and bully me. One time, my brother broke my MAC cosmetic kit when I was 17. I bought that with little money that I had saved up from working odd jobs. My dad, instead of replacing it, started praising my brother. Moreover, he replaced my makeup kit with a cheaper, low-quality one, saying that it was the same thing. 
I moved out at 18 and only contacted them on holidays and birthdays. I knew that if I had regular contact with them, they would mock my career. They already do it when I visit them and it's unbearable. That brings us to today. A few days ago, I visited home because it was my dad's birthday. Also, my girlfriend has been insisting on meeting the family. I also wanted my girlfriend to meet my family because we were getting pretty serious. And as usual, they started teasing me because of my job. Their comments were homophobic and transphobic, combined with a bunch of sexist insults. My last straw came when my brother said that I should start another job because painting faces will not get me anywhere. He compared me to his best friend who sells illicit substances and said, selling illicit substances is more dignified than what you do. I told him to be quiet. Unlike him, I am not mooching off my father, and he has the audacity to question my job when he hasn't worked in two years and is too lazy to even look for a job. My brother took things too far and tried to punch me, but I blocked it. If it wasn't for my dad and my girlfriend, they would have had to call the police. After the incident, I blocked both of them. My dad demanded an apology. I just told them to go away and never to expect me to visit again. My girlfriend was upset with me because she thought that it was unnecessary for me to insult my brother. I just want to know if I did something wrong because people around me are saying I should have just brushed it off. All right, folks, what do you think? Yeah, no, you're definitely not the jerk here, OP. It is... 100% understandable that you would not want to prioritize people who treat you like garbage. You know, what they are doing is completely inappropriate. It's not okay to be transphobic, homophobic, to act like stereotypically feminine things are inferior, and to belittle someone for having an interest that doesn't align with yours. Yeah. And you should feel safe and respected in your own family. These people are not treating you like family. No. You know, the thing is this. There are plenty of people who enjoy the profession of makeup artistry, and that doesn't require one set of genitals between your legs or another. And the thing is that it's a form of art, and that's really what it boils down to. There isn't anything wrong with expressing yourself in a form of art. And anyone who tries to drag you down because of how you like to express yourself in art is not worth spending time around. And uh, that's really what this boils down to. Now, all the extra stuff that goes into this, the extra awfulness, I mean, I think that OP was right to give them as little contact as possible. I mean, I can certainly understand them not wanting to cut them off entirely. Family kind of is like that to some degree. But I think now OP has their sign that they should just go no contact with them. And that's that. They don't need to be part of OP's family. Yeah, and I'm concerned that the girlfriend isn't backing OP up. And it may be that she's thinking this is a small thing because this is the first time she's seeing it. But why doesn't she trust her partner to well, well enough? Like, how can you watch your partner be belittled and demean and be like, you should have been nicer to your brother? Yeah, I mean, if I saw that, I would be like, we're, we're going to be leaving now, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that the girlfriend's priorities are wrong. And I agree with Amber. This might be something to re even reconsider the relationship on. You shouldn't allow people to get away with bullying and you shouldn't down, put it, play it down and be like, oh, it's no big deal, right? People need to be called out when they do bad things. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And Ocean Bree says, I'm curious, do you do well financially? Asking for a friend. And OP, I've gone no contact at 18. And OP replies, yeah, I'm not rich, but I live comfortably with the income that I have. Though, being just a makeup artist doesn't pay much, but I do have a small part-time job that covers it up. And Cold Brood Chaos says, My cousin goes on chartered yachts, fully paid luxury vacations, and big media events like the Oscars, all from being a makeup artist. They can sit in syrup. You are an artist and you can support yourself. I have never heard that before, but they can go sit in syrup, I guess. <laughs> and OP replies, I wish to be on that level someday. I'm only in the primary stage and I do mostly basic stage makeup, though I met some interesting and fun people doing that. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Am I a jerk for telling my husband that my friend is a lesbian? Okay, so we have been happily married for four years. We were friends in college before we got together romantically, and during our college years, I had a broader group of friends that I hung out with in addition to a smaller group of friends which my husband was part of. The girl in question, we'll call her Lana, was part of the broader group, and at the time, my husband was interested in her. 
He asked me about her status, and I lied and I told him that she was a lesbian because at that point, I knew that I wanted to be more than friends with him, and I knew that if Lena was in the picture, then things would be more complicated. I knew that telling him that she was a lesbian would stop him from pursuing her. Fast forward to now, my husband found out that Lena is in fact not a lesbian. At first, he just kind of ripped me about how wrong I was about her, since I tend to pride myself on being able to understand people well. I told him that I knew that she was straight, and I just told him that to stop him from pursuing her. I thought he would take this to have a romantic or cute thing, but he was quite shocked at the revelation. He kind of went quiet when I told him this, and then later told me that he felt betrayed and that it was messed up thing for me to have done. I told him that it worked out well in the end as we are very happy and we have a happy life together and that even if he had pursued her, it might not have worked out. But he still thinks that I was a jerk for not giving him the chance to decide on the course of action that he wanted to take back then. I just feel like this needs to be let go of since I was just trying to save him for me and I didn't really mean any harm. Plus, we have a great life now, am I? the jerk all right folks what do you think yes you're the jerk there is nothing romantic or cutesy about manipulation if you wanted to get with him you should have just been honest and upfront yeah and uh what you did was you took away his choice and i know that you love the life you have now but he's probably feeling very like misled and wondering how things could have been if you hadn't lied to him and mm -hmm. what kind of life he would ha have and he's never going to be able to get past those doubts and the distrust at knowing that your relationship was started on manipulation. Yeah, I think that this is a really bad call. And OP, I think revealing the truth here has caused a great deal of harm. I think he deserved to know the truth. Mm -hmm. But I think that you really, like Amber said, were being manipulative and being manipulative and not being straightforward with him and just saying, hey, I mean, I know you want to date her, but... How about dating me instead? Maybe that would have gone a little bit differently, right? And just being more upfront and forward. Like, instead of using this manipulation and being like, oh, I'm just going to, like, trick him into dating me kind of thing is just, it just feels very poor taste. Well, it does. And do you want to be your partner's choice because they want you or because they feel like they don't have other options? Like, it seems like OP is happy with, like, closing all his options off so he has to be with her mm -hmm. but wouldn't it be better to be the one your partner chose yeah and then also like what else has she lied about to make sure that they're happy mm -hmm. right what other things has she slightly deceived him about and now he has to wonder about that because if she was willing to lie about this one thing what other things has she you know passively like or moved around on him right well it sounds like op is trying to convince him that we're happy like op is happy but is he actually happy how does he feel about the relationship is op is you know she's like being very flippant and like he just needs to let this go because we're so happy is he really happy i mean he's clearly not happy in the moment he should be able to feel upset about this mm -hmm. but let me know what you folks think so anyhow take care and good luck all right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here. And Amber, she has a joke. And it must be off the top of her head because she's not reading a book. No, it's from the book. I just memorized it. What kind of drink do birds enjoy? Birds enjoy tea because I am a bird and I enjoy tea. Tweet tea. Tweet tea. Actually, there's a cute picture, so I'll bring the book over anyway. Bird with a little teacup. There's our Tweet T birdie. And that's another picture from Canva. Mm -hmm. And I have Earl Grey. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy, spectacular Saturday. I can't believe it, folks. It's the weekend. Can you? Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance. And please, have it involve standing up for yourself. Standing up for yourself can take all kinds of different forms. And just because you are not feeling comfortable in the moment doesn't mean it's bad or wrong. You know, I'm thinking of Opie in the first story where she reported things after the fact. That is totally a valid way to stand up for yourself. And what about Opie in the second and third one? So in the second story, I mean, I think OP going no contact is a great way to stand up for himself because these people are just being horrible bullies. And the third story... I mean, OP is being manipulative and it's 
totally fine for her husband to push back, to feel upset, to feel angry, to not let her just be like, this is a happy fantasy and everything's perfect. Well said, well said. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!